is being slain in the spirit biblical um, if you are asking the question is it biblical or not it means that you want to probably find you it means you are looking at it as if slaying in the spirit is a doctrine so I'm not going to address it as a doctrine as far as I'm concerned, slaying in the spirit or people falling down in the spirit is not a doctrine. And anybody who is going to regard it or treat it as a doctrine, I think uh, they will probably be in a form of error. So I will view, I will view slaying or being falling, falling in the spirit as an occurrence which it might not be against the Bible or against the will of God, but it's just a natural uh, occurrence of what happens to man when a higher force or a higher energy uh, hits them or touches them, and uh, that higher energy makes them to lose balance uh, in the physical body, which means that their resistance level might not be able to withhold that particular force. That, that, is com that is coming on them. So it's just different ways um, the body could react to, <clears throat> to the touch of the spirit or to the touch of a higher power, a higher energy. So some people might be shaking, some people might uh, be smiling or be laughing or some people might be falling. So any of those are just manifestations and we shouldn't make too, big, too much a thing of manifestation. We shouldn't count it as a doctrine and we shouldn't see it as a big thing. We should just see it as a manifestation of our different body. It's just like when you touch electricity. You know, your body reacts in a certain way. So it cannot be a doctrine or something like that. It's just a reaction, and uh, it's not a big deal. We shouldn't be making a big deal out of it.